Hey guys, it's Renee from Brackley. I hope you are well. Today I want to talk about being online. Is being online all it's cracked up to be? Bricks and mortar stores are confused, and rightfully so. There's so much conflicting advice out there, and how on earth are you supposed to know what's right for you and your business? I recently read an article from a leading consulting company, and they said this, and I'm going to read it just so the quote is real. Bricks and mortar retailers need to embrace online to reach new customers to drive sales. Relying on street traffic for that new customer is not effective anymore. It's all about engaging the new customer. I would love to see bricks and mortar say goodbye to shopping centre landlords and have a booming online business where they can have a better lifestyle for much less over. Quote, unquote. Now, I read this and to be honest, it really got my back up because this is exactly where the problem lies, is that a lot of retailers are not educated and don't have the knowledge around the internet and being online and the world wide web. It's very misleading. Anyone who says that being online is easier than having a store is talking complete and utter bullshit. Because being online, you still have to drive traffic to your website. You had to you think that you had to worry about traffic before. Now your competitors are on your tail. So much so. You wait until you get online because at times, you know they do so <laughs> your competitors they just do so much, you know. Um that's probably not a really good way to describe it. Let me um say that again. Is that your competitors are fierce. And you may have had five other stores in your suburb or in your town, um, five other stores, you know, that may have been your competition. Now you've got a gazillion of them. So how are you going to stand out from the crowd? And not just that, you've got your IP to deal with. You know, you have to make sure that no one is stealing your intellectual property. Because the thing is, is once they do this, all it is is a copy and paste. But that may have taken you hours to put that content together. Being online is hard. Um, and I just want to make sure that you're aware of what it's all about. And, um, you know, and there's some things that you really need to know moving forward. So you go in with your eyes wide open. You're working, you're going to be working just as many hours, if not more. The only thing is, is that now you can do it 24-7. <laughs> now you can do it at 5 a.m. or 10 p.m. or midnight, you know. That's the difference. Um, you know, yes, you can be, you're probably a little bit more flexible, um, but, um, you still need to spend a lot of hours Worrying, not worrying, but just putting time and some TLC and taking action into you, into your sales and marketing, into your business model, into your marketing and branding, into your networking, into everything. You still have to do the exact same thing. Okay? So don't let anything else mislead you because that is the case. The only thing is, is that you can, yeah, sure. You know, yes, it totally is less overhead. I'm not, there's no denying that. Um, that, you know, the whole notion of people just running in and, oh, look, oh, did you hear about this new website? No, you still need to brand yourself. You still need to get yourself out there. Probably, you know, probably more than ever. Um, 
you know, yes, being online is crucial for every single business. 92% of people go online before they will go into your store. The good news is that um, I think it was over 80% of those people will prefer and will go into a shop to buy their stuff, but they will always research and check out your website first. So do you need to be online? You bet you need to be online now more than ever. But being online is not just about getting your website up and forgetting about it. You know, now you have to worry about, you know, you have to think about catching email addresses, email marketing, list building, content creation, your SEO, backlink. And the list goes on and on and on. It's not a case of create it and they will come. You still have to drive traffic and um, and you've got seven seconds to do it before they slip away. Um, you know, and as far as overhead, yes, yeah, you know, for sure. You know, I'm all for ditching the shopping centres and their, you know, outlandish rent. Um, but bricks and mortar stores still play an important, crucial role in business and to, in, and to the consumers. Shopping centres are still extremely convenient for most people. If you go down to your local shopping centre, the car park is still full, there's still people in there. So that is, you know, yes, you know, bricks and mortar is still so important. Indie shopping strips, and when I mean indie, independent shops, shops and their shopping strips are still alive and buzzing with energy and people wanting to spend money. But the thing is, is you know, they want something different. If you get, if you wear white or if everyone around you wears white every single day and only offers white, before too long, you're going to crave a little bit of colour. If you eat pizza with nothing else available, pretty soon you're going to start craving vegetables. That's what's been happening in stores, in bricks and mortar stores. The problem is not that the internet is booming and people prefer to shop online. No. People want different products, but they're seeing the same products everywhere and we need to think about that and we need to take time when we put our collections together. That is the problem. You know, store after store, we're bored. We need a point of difference. Source different products. Stand out from the crowd. Yes, we are time poor but we still want to go into a shop and we still want to experience but you know what? Make it easy for us. Make the whole journey pleasant. Give us something to remember, but do it quickly. And outline every single step of the way. Add, add value to your customers. Make them feel special, and you will make money. There's no doubt in that. I promise you that. Being online, yes, you know what? Um, you have a better lifestyle and you have less overhead, there's no doubt in that. Um, putting like, putting everyone in the same basket is generalizing. You know, we all want to work different hours. We're all available different hours. Now more than ever, we're all busy. Everyone thinks that they're more busy than the next person, but truth be told, everyone's time is just as valuable. Um, you know, as I said before, um, yes, less overhead, the hours are still exactly the same. Don't let that fool you. Um, but it really does take discipline and you still need to work set hours when you're being online and work hours that work for you as well. And that's the beauty of being online. Um, but, you know, time management is just crucial for any online business and you really need to manage it. And if you've got a bricks and mortar store and an online store, you really need to balance that time out efficiently and think about creating an excellent customer journey both in your store 
and online as well. And that's what it's about. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not bagging being online because I love being online. And it has been amazing for my business. Um, you know, it's fueled my business into a whopping growth of 150% last year. And now we're tracking to add another 300% growth on top of that this year. So, you know, it can be good. It, it is good and it is crucial that everyone's online. But the point of this video was really more about to arm you with all the information you need and to go in with your eyes wide open. Don't be fooled by the misconception of being online is really easy and build it and they will come because it's so easy. It's enjoyable but there's so much to know and there's so much to learn and it changes warp speed <laughs> so quickly. Um, so I really just wanted to just prepare you for the, the reality of it, okay? Um, yeah. And that's what I wanted to do. So hopefully I've opened your eyes a little bit and, you know, given you some food for thought about um, being online. Do you need to be online? You bet your ass you need to be online. Um, but, um, you know, do it in a way that works for you. And just know that um, it takes work. It takes work. People think it's going to be easy, but it's hard work. It's hard work. But if you're, if you're prepared to put in those hours, then you better believe that you will you can reap the the reward. But um it takes work. But if anyone can do it, you can. Why not? Okay. You take care and um I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.